Shall I leave the statements for another night? Uh, maybe, unless it's like, or just give me the first sentence, lady. Give me the first sentence. Easier to easier to see. Open up the wound. Going through. Okay, uh, this is your powerful opinion. Don't don't lead with I believe that. You believe it because you're saying it. What's your opinion? Like, what's your powerful opinion? Opening up the wound, going through that pain will help you understand. And less commas. Like, no commas and no I believe that. One sentence. No and, no commas, no ifs, no maybes. Without commas. I believe that. No, no, I believe that. No, I believe that, lady. No, I believe that. Go right in. Opening up the wound will help you read. And there's also a comma in there. <laughs> lady, there's still a comma in there. And there's I believe that. Opening up the wound will help you regain trust. Okay. So that alone is fine, right? Opening up the wound will help you regain trust. Not, and even like help you is too soft. We want, it's a powerful opinion. But now it's a little too, like make the words easier to understand. What does that mean? If I don't know you, um, you know, I don't have the biggest vocabulary. Like what does that actually mean? Make it, make it simple for anybody to understand. Should I practice marketing by myself first and approach his artist? Like, well, what's the value you're going to bring the artist? Are you bringing marketing to them? Like, what is the value that you want to, that you're going to bring them? Okay, so lady, what do you believe about how leaders can rebuild their trust that other people don't believe? Like, what's the pain that I have to go through to regain people's trust? If I'm a leader and I have people on my team and I've lost trust with them, what do I need to do to rebuild their trust? In one sentence, going through the pain of what you're trying to numb will help you regain the trust. What's the pain that leaders go, oh, hold on, let me do this so that uh, I don't time out and haven't given Drew. Drew, uh, you know what, let's go shot calling. Drew made some good plays on that, I think. I feel like we were, had different laning phases, but still decent. I got double votes, look at that, we take those. I did get the orb. Uh, so what do you what do you believe about rebuilding trust as a leader like if you're talking to a leader who's lost trust with their team so it, it, you know if it, i helped drew build his business and then i did something and he doesn't trust me anymore right he's like this evan guy not trustworthy forget him i hate that guy and and his mom even leaves movement makers great what do i need to do what's your one sentence to tell me of what i need to do with drew to rebuild trust with him that by avoiding communication about what's wrong will destroy their company. So is that what leaders are doing? They're not talking about it? So if I'm afraid, so I've, I've, I've lost, Drew has lost trust in me because I said something mean to his mom. <laughs> We're really building this narrative up. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 good at, you're, you're good at the continuing narrative. Uh, uh, so your whole I, I, <laughs> I insulted Drew's mom and now he doesn't trust me anymore. <laughs> so, so what's the problem? Like, how do I, how do I, am I avoiding talking to Drew about it? You would not do that, Evan. Well, I hope not. Wow. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. I sincerely hope not. I would have uh, endless, uh, uh, calls and flowers sent to Drew's mom to uh, remedy the situation. But I'm a bad leader, right? This is the whole point. This is, this is what uh, lady is trying to do. She's trying to help me. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not a good leader and I'm avoiding talking to Drew about it. This is, this is what you're saying? Like I'm avoiding communication? So how do I, what do I need to do? What's your one sentence for me of what I need to do with Drew? Because he's lost trust in me. So now he's going to be a, you know, not happy to be on the team and I'm avoiding it, right? This, is this a scenario? So how do I fix this? How do I fix it with Drew? <laughs> Sir, book review. Awesome. Hey, thank you, Zan. This should be fun. Matthew, with starting a podcast, inviting artists on, asking them questions, then marketing that help? Um, it could be. Like, that's a great way to get to know people in the community. Starting a I wouldn't even do a podcast. You could just start Twitter spaces. Start Twitter spaces, interviewing um, and showcasing artists. But that doesn't mean that you, they're going to hire you to help market because you don't know how to market something yet. So you still need to get in. I, what you should do is get involved in some projects that have successful marketing so you get a sense of what it takes to do it. While you're building your... It's a great plan. Go 
m go work with somebody or even volunteer on existing NFT projects where there is marketing that you can help with. So you learn the ropes of how it's done. And at the same time, start every night a Twitter space where you're showcasing a different NFT artist and, and asking them why they started their project and what it means to them, et cetera. Um, and then once you have enough skills to be able to bring enough value to get paid for your marketing, then you turn that into your company. Lydia Lexi on the road. If you put more effort in explaining what you want and need your people, you will build trust. Uh, so the advice to me is, hey, Evan, Drew doesn't like you anymore. He doesn't trust you. Evan, if you put more effort in explaining what you want and need to your people, you will build trust. I don't think it's enough. We need more power. What do I need to know to, to get Drew to start to trust me? Like, why doesn't Drew trust me? Your team doesn't trust you because what? You keep feeding in lane. You keep feeding in lane. He's never in lane. Like, where's my where's my support? What is this lane? <laughs> you're, you're, finish that sentence, uh, Lady Lexi. Your team doesn't trust. This is for leaders, right? So your team doesn't trust you because what? Because you're afraid to tell them the truth. Because you're afraid to apologize. Because you're afraid of hurting their feelings. What? Like why? Why? Why does my team not trust me, Lady Lexi? You need to listen better and find different ways to get your message across in a way they understand okay so no and right like your team doesn't trust you because you don't know how to listen there you go that's an opinion your team doesn't trust you because you don't know how to listen period no and no comma no ifs maybes maybe an exclamation Exclamation point. Exactly. We need exclamation points. Your team doesn't trust you because you do not know how to listen. Exclamation point. Boom. First sentence. I like that. Now, does that, uh, you know, does that uh, know better, right? Like you need to listen better. No, no, no. Like tell them not marginal, small improvements. Like the problem is you do not know how to listen. Not you need to become a better listener, right? See how much that's softer? We're not, you don't soften. We need to don't soften the powerful opinion because now it's not powerful. Now it's just an opinion. Focus on, uh, Merithew says, okay, so really focus on someone giving me a chance in the empty space. How do I ask people properly what value do I bring them? Uh, you start getting involved. Here's what you do. You get involved in projects that are ongoing or launching both because even in the ongoing, there's, there's ongoing marketing that has to happen. And then be so useful and valuable to them that they want to hire you to keep doing my work with them. And then you spend the next six to 12 months working for them, learning the ropes and thinking about your business on the side, maybe starting it small on the side and definitely doing the Twitter spaces to build your connections. But you work on a project that is successful, volunteer, be the best volunteer. Like when, when um, Impact Theory was launching their keys, right? I was in their Discord so much that... Tom and Lisa on the lives were saying Evans in the discord, bringing more value than the people who we hired to be moderating our discord, right? Like be so good that you stand out and then they want to hire you. That's the job. Uh, Lady Lexi, your team doesn't trust you because you do not know how to listen. Yeah. Yeah. I would say don't instead of do not. Your team doesn't trust you because you don't know how to listen. Yeah. Do you believe that lady? Is that a problem? Like, I don't want to put words in your mouth that you don't believe, but that's how we're, like, ideally we're taking your, your thoughts and just making them more impactful so it stands out. You can avoid listening and just yell or you can take, okay, so here, like no and, no ands, Lady Lexi, no ands, there's another and. You can avoid listening and just yell or you take responsibility and learn to listen and explain. There's like four ands and an or in there. So we need to, we need to cut <laughs> no ands or ors no more and. lady Lexi you are banned from ands and ors in your powerful opinion this is a good practice no commas no ands no ors no maybes no ifs not in the first sentence not in your powerful you can use them later on but otherwise it doesn't stand out if it's like and 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 what am I trying to remember what's the problem again the problem is you are not a good listener and that's why people don't trust you 
Powerful opinion. This is great. Actually, I'm glad we spent time. Lady, thank you for sticking around to the end. I know it's late for you in, in um, Holland. So thank you. It's great. Your team doesn't trust you because you do not put any effort in understanding them. It's not as good as you don't listen to them. Like, or, or I would switch that. Your team doesn't trust you because they think you don't care about them. Do you see the difference? Like, your team doesn't trust you because they think you don't care about them versus because you do not put any effort in understanding them. Simpler words, punchy, more impact. I'm learning that for speaking, removing those filler words. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially in the first, especially in the opening. Like, if you're five minutes in on your video, people will be a lot more forgiving and understanding, but at the beginning... They don't know who you are. They're not going to give you that grace. By looking for excuses, it allows an example for your employees. Uh, I like the I like that you're you're setting a lousy example for your team. Why though? By looking for excuses is too vague. What are they doing? You're setting a lousy example for your employees because. Thank you uh, for explaining that. I'm still struggling with Discord in general. That's okay. You know, I mean, we all struggle with everything at the start. You learn, you get better, you improve. Lady Lexi, absolutely. Okay, cool. Lady Lexi says, okay. Good. Well, that's a good start. It's a good start. If it helps to picture somebody, lady, you can try that too. Like if you're actually picturing me, Drew doesn't trust me anymore because I insulted his mom. So what do I need to do? You know, he doesn't feel important. He, he feels judged. He feels I'm blaming him. He feels I don't listen to him. He feels I don't share things. You know what? Why would you be upset with me? All the reasons. <laughs> Those are all different videos. <laughs> he blames me instead of taking accountability. No, I blame him. Sorry. I blame him instead of taking accountability. I only point out all of his weaknesses instead of recognizing his strengths. Like... Think of all the reasons why employees are unhappy with their bosses. All of those are videos that you can talk to the bosses.